So. I think that the main thing that you want to do as an architect is to, like especially in cities, like that is so bustling and everything, that you want to create a place that you can like relax. So we are in the middle of the winter. <laughs> you want a place to run away from all your like job and everything, just like lie down and be tranquilo. <laughs> it's too much sun. <laughs> yeah, now also it works in the winter, so think about in the summer it's like... <laughs> but the idea is that like, are you inside or are you outside? <laughs> yeah, no, that's the main idea was like to Ba basically diffuse these like connections to have like the space very calm and very inviting and very like not too much uh, things happening that you can like just lay down or just yeah like be be calm <laughs> or comfortable like I, I know like just like feel comfortable <laughs> could it be a guest bed <laughs> yeah, could be no, it could be a lot of things, I don't know. In the beginning was the idea also that like you can take down this and have like a table. And this is what happens in Sinai a bit, that you can have a table like a bit of Ch uh, Japanese, you know, and like you can lay around. But we didn't do it <laughs> yet, so let's see. I think it's nice also that things ev evolve with time. Like. The attic, it wasn't an apartment in the past. Usually it was like a dormant room or storage or something like this. But with time they enlarged it and it became an apartment in a lot of buildings in Barcelona. Well, what was this building? Do you know? Yeah, it's a building from the beginning of the century, I think. It was a winery, how do you call it? Like where they store all their... Cellar? Yeah, cellar downstairs. And then in, I think in the 30s they built another three floors. When we found this uh, apartment, it was like a typical apartment with lots of rooms and uh, no light and uh, yeah, like an attic uh, of a building. Here uh, it was closed and it was another like storage room that they had. Here it was the kitchen with just some windows and a door. So it was not connected at all. And also here like the idea basically was to connect with the terrace and we created this form of sofa and sofa bed. So we started to make use also of this area. What do you do in that mm -hmm. I don't really know what to call that. That's basically a sofa, bed, <laughs> something in between. Huge though. Yeah, basically we wanted like this hang area where you can feel comfortable sitting, lying down, watching a movie because we put the projector here and we're screening here movies on the wall. To make use of this space in the beginning was the idea to continue a sofa, but by the end we said, yeah, let's just elevate all this area and have like this. It's also a bit like in Bali, you could see a Bali bed or from where I'm like from Israel, as we said, so Sinai, it's like a bit uh, in Egypt where you go and you all lie down on a, like now after the Christmas dinner, everybody <laughs> lies everywhere and uh, fall asleep, <laughs> stay, and, and it's nice. So did you then open it up? Yeah, because we, we scraped it all down. So the roof also it was flat roof. And because we wanted to have this continuation, so we rebuilt this Volta Catalans. So the ceiling in general is the Volta Catalan uh, of uh, like very common here in uh, Barcelona, Catalonia. This arc structure. Basically, we had some of it and some of it was in a very bad condition. All this part of the back, we did it again with uh, new methods of doing like the Catalan arcs. And on the wall area, you can see it as well. The brick area was like uh, the first, probably how they built. They built till this part, and then they built this in a much later days. This is probably 80s or 70s. And then this part also probably came after it. So the idea wasn't to eliminate it, it's just to show it. 
and the best way is to use the white color because then you leave all the elements but you paint it in white so it, it gets like some a story. And, and you chose to leave that. <laughs> yeah, basically because it's all white so the idea was uh, to leave one part as, as it was before because by this it emphasized the rest. Because if it was all the same white, maybe you would st your eye would get used to it. But when you have this, it a bit gives a, a division and emphasizes basically the idea. And then very important was to make uh, use of the um, that we are in attic. So basically, we have like a possibility to open the skylights. Here you have the bath area where you can like bath and see the sky above you. So the idea was to do the openings to the sky in the wet points of the house, we call it, in the kitchen, in the bath, and in the shower. And basically it brings you like this natural light. And you can have a bath and it, it reflects, like you, you feel more calmer, like more comfortable, I think. All the house is micro cement. Here in the bath, we add like another like a, a ceiling surface, and yeah, now you see it's wet, so you see a bit of the lines even. But but when it uh, dries, it goes like like the floor. Also, all the walls in the bath rooms and the bathtub and the shower are with this uh, micro cement. We wanted in the beginning to have like concrete floors, but it was too heavy for the structure of the old building. So we use this uh, micro cement that is like an imitation of concrete, let's say, but very smooth and maybe much more elegant as well. And uh, the idea is to use this material in all the horizontal surfaces. It started basically because uh, it happens a lot in the attics that the, the, the terraces are elevated from the house because there was the inclination of the roof because we didn't want to have this different. Uh, we created this platform that it's the bed. It allows you, like it's basically this micro cement is that you can put it on any surface. It's almost a covering. Everything. It's like a painting, let's call it. Usually in five layers, in this house is 17 layers, I think. <laughs> almost every layer varies what you want. So basically, uh, we didn't stop till we liked the outcome. <laughs> It's a bit like to use the space in a different levels and then it gives you like other views. So yeah, all the idea was like to have these openings in both sides, like that you can open all and have all the space connected. The truth is that this size we less open it because it's the bedroom, but it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and then basically you can sleep and be outside more for the summer days, not <laughs> for now, but. Here, you, if you go out, you have the, like a bit of a Pobleno warehouse area and even the sea. See here, like bathroom. Basically, again, the main idea I think here was to have this shower with the opening to the sky and the opening to our private jungle, I call it. The idea was to have like a, a bit of a tropical, I think this we took from our trips to Bali and things like this, that you outside shower, so you feel like outside and here. I really like plants in general, <laughs> it's also another hobby. So yeah, we used here, this is like more from the tropical things, but the bamboo was a bit to make a screen between like uh, for the far neighbors, even though I don't think they can see, but to have a bit like of a screening. It feels lush. Yeah. yeah, it's very nice to shower. Like. And the water. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the micro cement. This is again like the micro cement. That like uh, you don't need all these tiles and everything. You can like just... Yeah. I think it's very connected to the style uh, Spanish, Mallorca, Ibiza, that I very like but giving it a bit of modernized, the stylish. So all the cabins are from this uh, thick wood and the idea was to have like this walls of this wood that also continues here in the bathroom and has the, like more of the storage space for us. And also all the big doors 
from the same thing. <laughs> I'm not sure this is the best. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't. I'm pretty sure that the other one is even. <laughs> <laughs> so your whole closet, you have your whole closet there. Yeah, this is uh, mine, hers, and in the other side, in the second. But like here, you can see it's also like all the doors are this thick wood. Yeah. So you use the same materials in the kitchen. The same material, it's always the wood, always the surfaces in the wet areas are this marble. We love to cook, <laughs> so the main thing of the house was to buy this oven, so everything is built around it. And yeah, the extraction, and we use it for all the bottles and things, the cups. The idea was basically to open everything. The idea of the kitchen also because it's, it's a furniture inside the, the living room, so to try to hide it as much as possible. And then basically you have the kitchen and leftover from Christmas dinner. <laughs> and the freezer. Just built right in. Built yeah, and like integrated. And the penetry that now is a bit of a... Yeah, and all the cabinets to have like big, big cabinets for all the plating and storage, like uh, as much as possible, because by the end it's not that a, a big apartment. It's like 85 square meters, something like this. So to have as much as possible like uh, cabinets that we can like uh, use. Things. That's the idea, to have as much as possible storage integrated in the furniture. <laughs> My wife, she's a teacher, she had her like corner here. This is a string library shelf. It's like, um, I think from Denmark, from the 50s, 60s or something like this. This is a modern one. Basically a modular furniture system that you can put a desk, cabin, shelves for a magazine and you can like choose how to build it. And it's nice because you can add more with time. Yeah. And it's so light. That yeah, that that's the idea this. that basically these verticals that are very light and touching only in one point so you almost don't feel it like so it lets like the the floor or the space to flow I really like plants so it was a main feature to use very natural gardening the idea was also that the near skyline is a bit industrial and something a bit can be too rough so a bit like to create your own like um, oasis you say but like something calm that you see and to integrate with the back all this like the neighbor what we talk the industrial area of Pobleno the building the factories a bit uh, and the new starting you, you start to see like the new buildings that are coming along Pobleno, I would, it's a village that was outside of Barcelona that uh, they connected it, I would say, in the Olympics time or something. And all this part that is closer to the center of Barcelona was more of the warehouses and the... Nice place to have a penthouse. Yeah. Above, you know? <laughs> yeah, <right>? above. <laughs> Quietly above. So I got some help from friends and did like this selection of plants that now they really like in one year they grew so much and um, they're all very much plants that you find in uh, Barcelona or Catalonia uh, from the succulents to the um, more the palms or the wheat and it's very nice because it started to have like this own uh, like ecosystem as well uh, already like we had here like a huge spider <laughs> that now he went <laughs> Yeah, now they are not here, but lots of bees are going and uh, yeah, it's, it's nice that it starts like to feed itself. Like. And also the flourishing, like as you see, this is now like the hero, he has all the flowers, but it's exactly now in one month, it will go back to the, the green that is also beautiful and something else will uh, flourish. You see also the breath of it, so they are now also flourishing, also okay. always popping out. Also soon we will need, I need to cut all this, like uh, they're already, they were like, uh, yeah, from, you need to cut them, they are dry, all of them. <laughs> yeah, me too, that's why they stayed.
we saw the main like uh, strength of the terrace in Barcelona and uh, the open plan and some elements, but it was a project that evolved also. Yeah. So more in the summertime, it's like uh, you have shade in this area and also inside. It's very nice because in the summer the sun comes really direct like here. And also if you now you less see it, but it it also has a bit of like this Volta Catalan idea that goes from inside to outside. It's also almost like a sailing element, right? Yeah. Because you can sort of see the, the wind yeah. Yeah, because also the level is like there is a big inclination of the roof in a natural roof, so you need somehow like to level it. So I think the wood is the best, uh, like the deck is the most uh, easiest way to do it. And this connection to the outside is just, I mean, it's so great that it's really almost the same level as the deck, so you don't feel your... Yeah, not that this block, it's like just continuing like... Do you ever find this is sort of a meditative space where you just sit there and look out? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if meditation or this, but like, yeah, I like here a lot and just look at the sky or look at the birds or whatever <laughs> comes here. I think we are. <laughs> the majority of the time <laughs> is in, in here. It was a project that involved taking down things, like, a lot of things we just like uh, reduce and stay to the basic elements and I think this is what makes also the project very calm and very nice to comfortable to live here because of like the reduction I think and very like the n not so much is happening.